the sack with Dr. Sarah and my guest, Melissa Gorman from Teddy's team. So this in the next couple of weeks, April 10th, Melissa has a huge fundraiser and I'm having her tell you about it at Equinox and everybody needs to join and go. So April 10th, Friday night, I will be having a fundraiser. JP Pilates, Jennifer Fallon Pilates, who is one of Boston's top instructors. She's a rock star. She is a rock star. She I is. Some of those glasses. This will be my third um, JP Pilates fusion for Teddy's team event. So my thought is let's have a fundraiser that's consistent with the mission. Let's do something that gets you moving, gets you not drunk. Well, there will be wine after the fact. Right. <laughs> after the fact. So. Burn your calories first, and then you can go drink. I think I like that philosophy. So let's raise, you know, funds and awareness to rid the world of cardiovascular disease and stroke, right? So get healthy. Get on the mat. So I feel like it's important to bring people into the gym. I'm fortunate enough to be a member of Equinox. It's not fitness, it's life. So everything sort of ties in together. <laughs> Equinox is a beautiful place, so you get to go dabble in there at the event, too. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a member. Everyone's welcome. Open to the general public. So you will get a 60 or so minute workout with Jennifer Fallon Pilates, and you will get some Pinot after, red, white, your choice. <laughs> and you will support a great cause that's critical to all Americans. So come join us. And red wine is good for, you know, stroke prevention, I think. For the heart, so they say, but I'm not a doctor. They say that, but I'm going to go with that because I do, I do like that whole concept. Um, so that's very exciting. I've been to Melissa's events in the past. Um, unfortunately, we have a show that night, so we're not going to be there. But they do have a very special guest, and if you've ever wanted to meet this guy, now's your chance, April 10th, right? Stroke survivor, team captain, Patriots Hall of Famer, Teddy Bruski. You get to work out with Teddy, right? Um, I don't I'm know if he's, he's going to take the class. I'm trying to convince him to take the class, but he will be there. His butt will get kicked with J.P. Pilates. I've had my butt kicked at J.P. Pilates over in the North End. <laughs> it's a good time. Indeed, you will. Yes. Um, so are there any other fundraisers or, like, any milestones that have come up for Teddy's team recently? Any anniversaries or anything? So Teddy's team recently celebrated its 10-year anniversary. I told you earlier Teddy had his stroke in 2005, which is when Teddy's team started. So they have had their recently celebrated their 10-year reunion, and since that time they have raised $3.5 million, which is... That's phenomenal. Amazing. That's exciting. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And also, stroke has moved from when I started running from... Teddy's team, and I started in October 2011. I'll never forget that phone call from Zach Blackburn. Welcome to the team. Oh. A team that I haven't been able to leave. <laughs> so since then, it's gone from the number two cause of death to number five. One in three persons, which is crazy, one in three have some form of cardiovascular disease. And 80% can be prevented. So you can actually visit heart.org and you can read about Life Simple 7, which gives you all these amazing tips to just make your life better. You can start every day, walk instead of, you know, riding or take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Or stop looking at your phone and be on Facebook and take the stairs. You know? Exactly. Get off your phones, people. people are constantly walking on their phones like the <laughs> streets. And, <laughs> and they're going to bump into everybody. Yeah. That's so story. 30 minutes a day, actually, 30 minutes a day is all you need, can reduce your, reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke by up to 50%. I mean, there are hereditary things, so I'm not saying that's right. going to prevent it. But if there are things you know you can do to prevent it, why not, right? Prevention is the cure. Right. I, I do not want a heart attack. I'm good. I have 50 years to go on this earth, right. I hope. I mean, it's just the small things that you can do. You could jump rope for 10 minutes. You just, you, like you said, take the stairs. You can jog in place. You could do jumping jacks. It's very small. You know, twenty even 25 minutes a day of just, like, lifting, like, five-pound weights, too, can make all the difference out there. So the good doctor does know what she is talking about. So, Good job, Dr. Sarah. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> That's my little advice for tonight. <laughs> um, we're going to be back in a few. And, Melissa, we're going to wrap up, and she's going to tell you where you can go to join her event. And we'll be back in a few. <laughs> Back in the 
back with Dr. Sarah with my friend Melissa Gorman from Teddy's team. Um, she's going to tell you a little bit more about her event coming up. Um, what's the website that they can actually go to and find out how to sign up? So you can visit Jennifer Fallon Pilates on Facebook. Uh, there is an ev Eventbrite page. We'll put that link up for you because that's hard to remember. We'll Great. We'll put that up for you. Thank you. <laughs> you can sign up there. You can sign up there. But um, I will mention to you folks out there that you probably should sign up soon. It is 75% already full, right? Am I correct? Yes. So there's a small opportunity for you to get in there for just a $30 donation. It goes to stroke prevention, and you get a JP Pilates class, which is amazing. And then you get to drink after. You can have your red wine for stroke prevention. Absolutely. And, um, and you get the opportunity to get, you know, you can meet Teddy. So, um, speaking, yeah, speaking of that, did you bring this autograph copy for me to keep or is this for the donation table or you could win one if you show up at my fundraiser? Oh, all right. Well, guys, you better sign up. We're going to put all that information on Dirty Water News in the sack with Dr. Sarah up there for you to see so you can sign up and come in. Uh, Melissa, thank you so much for coming in tonight. I did want to let you know that I did wear your team colors today, the bright blue and a little bit of black. I appreciate that. I, I definitely noticed the Teddy's team blue and appreciate it. All right. You've got to get me a shirt, though. I'll work on that. Okay. So She's on it. On it. What? I'm sorry. So I cut you off. It. So on it. So on it. Um, but I want to say, you know, my mission on Marathon Monday is not only to cross the finish line, with so many others for this beloved, strong city, but also to raise funds for awareness and advocacy and research for, for stroke. So our mission is to fight it, to raise awareness, get the word out there. So if you can't donate, just learn the signs. Learn the signs, know the signs, spread the signs, spread awareness. You're doing your job, and you could save a life. Right. And Melissa, also you can donate to Melissa. We'll put her site up, her donation page. I mean, this is Boston. You know, I love Boston. I am Boston. You know, this is my heart and soul. And you should donate and you should get out there if you're off that day and you should support our runners. They've been running through treacherous conditions in the blizzard this year. I can't even imagine. My poor sister actually got hurt running because, you know, she's training, well, not for the marathon, the Boston Marathon, for another one. And I just can't even imagine what it's been like, you know, to even to go do your 20-mile run the other day. So It's been a brutal winter, but mm -hmm. mile six into our 21-milers. So all the runners go out last Saturday, actually. They do their 21. And they sort of call it – you call it the dress rehearsal, right? You get out. your bu The bus brings you out to Framingham or wherever your charity team drops you off. For us, it's Framingham. We run back in. You run the route in. But mile six, you – you stop at the water stop, and you've got Teddy Bruski and Heidi Bruski and their sons, TJ, Rex, and Dante, handing you water and, you know, Swedish fish. Was oh. very well, that's <laughs> worth it right there. <laughs> I love the fish. But it is. You know, Not the small ones, the big ones, the big fatties, <laughs> like the better ones. The little ones, they don't taste so good. But it's a family affair, and Teddy's team has become family. It is family. Teddy's out there. He's supporting his team. He's running the show he and Heidi are amazing and they're Very doing a great thing for the world they're doing a great thing all right well we're gonna put up all the sites the Eventbrite Melissa site where you can go and donate to Teddy's team thank you so much Melissa for joining me I'm very excited Melissa's been a friend of mine since high school actually with junior high you know so it's been great to have her here talking about all the amazing things that she's been doing and I'm I'm glad to bring her to the attention of the Bostonians I mean thank you thank you for the opportunity we want to spread awareness Right. All right, well, we'll see you next week back in the sack. Have a good night. Welcome back to In the Sack segment, The Girl at the Bar. I'm the girl at the bar that you're afraid to ask questions to, but here I am answering them. Tonight we're going to be talking about why are guys so obsessed with big butts? Do we need to go out to gym classes and start working out and doing squats? I don't know if that's a good idea. Is it because of Kim Kardashian? Is it because of J-Lo? Or even Nicki Minaj? Are they setting a trend that we don't want to get into? Maybe it's our yoga pants that we're wearing and turning men on while as we walk through the streets of Boston. It's actually human nature for men to like big butts. For a while back, it was big boobs, and everybody was getting plastic surgery, and they were having their boobs done, and now people are even getting butt implants. Girls, stop. 
if you have what you have, and that's going to be it. But the reason why guys really are into butts is because every time they see a big butt and it's cute, perky, it's because they see you as somebody to impregnate. They think that you're very fertile, and they think that they're going to be able to impregnate you. It's just human nature. I mean, what are they going to do? They're men. Also, it's becoming trendy because it's like a taboo. It's a little bit of taboo to have anal sex, even do a doggy style. So, you know, something taboo, it turns men on. So, I mean, girls, get on all fours. You got to do what you got to do. However, please don't go to class and start getting your butt big because you know what's going to happen in 10 years? Your butt's going to sag. And that's one of the best questions I've had this week. I'm the girl at the bar, and we'll see you next time.